Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick video because there's been a news announcement from FreeSky um, basically then wanting you all to update everything <laughs> if you're running anything on a X16 or, or sorry, D16 protocol uh, they've updated ACCST D16 to version 2 to fix a couple of bugs that people have been getting with servos playing about and they've also strengthened the correction and verification capability. What that means, I don't know. But FreeSky are recommending that everybody updates to this new version. If we pop over to the FreeSky site, this is their news announcement right here. So as you can see, they don't really give you much details. They, they've had a problem. They've had quite a few people messaging in with a problem and they've released a fix. It's as simple as that, really. Um, so, yeah, update absolutely everything. If you've got an X7, X7S, X9D, X9D Plus Special Edition, X9E, X Lite, X10, X10S, X12S, or an XJT module on its own, um then they recommend you update the internal xjt module and also an external xjt module if you're using that receivers as you can see down here we've got the xm xm plus x4r x4r sb x6r x8r rsxr or rxsr sorry rx4r rx6r rx8r rx8r pro GRX6, GRX8, S6R, and S8R. If you're using any of those receivers, then they will also need to be updated when you update your transmitter. Um, and also there's a couple of flight controllers with <clears throat> built-in receivers that will also need updating, um, mainly Omnibus. So if you've got an Omnib Omnibus flight controller with a built-in FreeSky receiver, that will also need updating. The files are already on the site, so we'll just look for X9D Plus, just because that's a transmitter I've got, so I'll need to download it. You want this one here, the XJT firmware, and you'll see here ACCST D16 version 2.0.1, and that's come out today, <clears throat> 16th of January 2020. Um, again, it just gives you what what it's been updated for, and the same goes for the receivers. So, where we got GRX6, I've got one of those. And again, ACCST D16 firmware, and this is the version you want, the 2020 version. Let me just double check this. Yeah, so it's only the XJT module. You, there's, you don't need to update the actual front end of the Tyrannus. It's it's just the module for the transmission. Um, yeah, so there you have it. That was just a quick news announcement um, for an update for Free Sky transmitters. Catch you later. Hi well, guys, I recorded that video last night um, in a bit of a rush to try and get the scoop on the whole Free Sky story um this yeah i'm still new at this and i obviously didn't do the right thing what i should have done is wait and digest it a bit in my head um because um there are a few questions about why free sky have actually brought this release out and there's there's a few um there's i hate to use con conspiracy theory but the big one that people are bringing up is free sky have done this for the FCC remote ID and integration. Um, I really can't see that, to be honest with you. For a start, the FCC don't even know what's happening with remote ID yet. So how can they demand that retailers bring out um, new firmware for their stuff when they don't even know what their stuff's gonna do? So I don't believe that. And the other thing that sort of goes against that is the whole flex thing, which, you know, free sky, ship it with a disclaimer do what's legal in your country but we all know that you can use flex to do very illegal things in whatever country you want um so if they bring out flex why would they bow down 
to the FCC for something that doesn't even exist yet. So I I I know that there's a lot of shit going on in America um, with remote ID and all, the whole FCC thing, which I personally think is ridiculous. Um, but I I don't think this has got anything to do with that whatsoever. The the other foot thing that was brought up which may have a bit more to it was that not many people are jumping on the axis or the access bandwagon so maybe free sky are bringing in something you know maybe to to mess up their own system so that people will jump to access which again i, I don't really think that will be the case because if you've got a user base why piss them off purposely they're still going to buy your products while they can. So I understand that, you know, FreeSky new stuff will come out. It will just have access, but there's still plenty of receivers that you can buy, which, you know, don't have access or could be flashed to have ASC, AS, ACCST. Christ, that's powerful. Um, so why would you do it? Why, why would you deliberately alienate the, you know, part, if, if no one's buying or very few people are buying the access stuff, why would you alienate the people that have and are still happily using the ACCST stuff? It doesn't really make sense. Um, yeah, fair enough. If I had loads and loads of people on access, then maybe they would tweak, <laughs> to, uh, tweak to get those last few people to jump. But if there's loads of people, I can't really see it. Um, but... We, we do have to look at, I mean, FreeSky have given two reasons why they want this update to go ahead. Uh, the first is to, they fixed the channel output error, uncontrolled servo movements under certain conditions. Um, in the pretext, they said they did say they had quite a few people with errors. But a search of the internet, I can't find anything. I, I've looked on RC groups and places like that, but I can't find anything. Having said that, I, I've actually witnessed a friend's model go in, in a, a really random and unknown situation. Um, and he had this happen to him three times before he, he changed, he basically changed his Tyrannus. So it could have been failing hardware inside the Tyrannus. But by the same token, it could have been this servo uh, problem. Because basically he'd be flying absolutely fine. There'll be no RSSI errors, no, not even telemetry lost errors. And then all of a sudden it would just enter a dive and he, he wouldn't be able to recover from it. It just goes straight in, no control it, uh, into the ground. Um, one time it did actually get control back and that model was saved. Uh, but the other two times they just went no straight into the ground. So maybe that was that output channel error but don't really know um so th there is that there, there may be some truth to that but there's not a lot of evidence that i've seen on it uh the other thing is the strengthened correction and verification capability and in the earlier video i, I was just like well what's that um but when you look at it this can only really be uh signal quality and checking the data in the signal so maybe this does have something to do with access maybe when they were programming access they actually worked out a better way of doing this and thought well seeing as we're fixing this channel output error we could put that into accst and it will work fine so yeah it to me it, strengthened correction and uh, verification is basically from what what I understand is basically when you send the data from your receiver, there's a checksum on the end. And if the checksum's incorrect, it clears the data and, and um, so any, any corruptions you don't get sent through the packets. So all I, all I can assume is this strength and correction and verification is make, is something to do with those data packets. So either you get less loss or it's, it's able to detect the loss better and maybe it was that loss that was causing the servo issues in the first place so maybe there was something incorrect in the data packet the radio 
you know, continue to put it forward to the servos and it caused problems. So maybe those two are actually linked. But uh, again, there's I've it's something that I've not seen any issues with. So I, I think FreeSky actually need to come out and actually say, give us examples of people who have had these problems because as it stands, there's there's not really much evidence. I mean, I, I, as I say, I've seen something that could have been the servo channel output error. <clears throat> Excuse me. But was it? Um, but uh, just saying, you know, we've... What do they ex actually say? We're grateful to you all for all the constant support, especially thank those who reported the issues and provided the information and assisted us with many tests. That's all they really say. They don't, they're, but, but, you know, did they only go to FreeSky with these issues? I would have thought if people were having problems, I would have posted them elsewhere as well, which we can't really find this. So, yeah, it's, it's a double, I think FreeSky need to provide us with more information. It's as simple as that. Um, I don't, I don't believe there's anything backhanded in the update. But by the same token, yeah, many, many people have had no issues with ACCST for years. I, I've, I've been using it for about two years now. I've not had any issues whatsoever with it. Um, but then again, I, I still go back to that servo issue, that, um, of the control issue that my friend had. I mean, that, that was just a really strange strange thing and we couldn't really put it down to anything um maybe that was something to do with the firmware but um so yeah there, do you update if that's the, if you've not seen any problems then maybe don't update wait for free sky to actually give us more detail on what they're fixing because at the moment there's not really enough of it I, I, yeah, do I update? I think I'm going to wait for Free Sky as well. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the conclusion. If it if it ain't broke broken, don't fix it. But by the same token, there there could be something underlying. But I think Free Sky need to provide us with more detail. So, yeah. Uh, Hopefully you found the news in the first video useful, but hopefully you find this discussion, <laughs> discussion piece in the second part more useful. Um, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. Have you have you seen glitches with your servos? If you know, have you seen any issues with ACCST? If you have, put it in the comments. Um, but until then, thanks for watching. If you found it useful, subscribe and maybe click that bell thing as well thanks thanks guys bye